sad. I look at that mirror. Who's coming up alongside that fucking camera? He's got a girl like this right here. I said, Larry, he's got the freaking gun. I guess I think Larry says, I know. And I said, I got a gun right here. I said, you better hide. I did. I said, Roy, you're going to now put your hands out. <laughs> He said, what the suck are you guys doing? He said, I've been behind you for miles. Lights on and everything. <laughs> Larry said, we've just been talking. That's all he's doing. Oh, he said, I've got roadblocks up ahead there. Everything. <laughs> We're not looking at his freaking beer. <laughs> he said, there's cops everywhere. Look at me trying to stop you guys. I said, what the suck are we doing? Larry said, what the, I said, to ask him what the suck we did. See that one on the news helicopter. You guys <laughs> running from the cops in that trailer. Yeah. And they're still talking loud. <laughs> oh my god, was that something? I thought I was going to move my freaking pants after he left. I want to make sure he left. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Me and Larry, this had to have been in the 70s or the early 80s. You worked in Blacksville? Yes. Me and Larry rode together. And we usually sometimes, if we didn't go to Blacksville for breakfast, we worked midnight shift. We went to the chicken house in Wingsford for breakfast and screwed around for a while. We went home. Well, we're coming in, coming up by the fire hall right there at the stoplight. And Larry, I'll never forget it. Larry had a black Chevy truck. He had to have a very long spice truck. So when the light turned green, pulled out, got on Green Street, was heading down towards there. Next thing we know, there's some old man pulled up alongside Larry, had to, had to roll the window down, had a, had a uh, hatchet in his uh, hand. It was cussing and screaming at us and doing this and all this stuff like that. And Larry said, look at this guy. And I got, I said, what the suck are you doing? Or something like that. <coughs> that guy, he looked like he was possessed. I don't know what we did. We didn't do nothing. We didn't say kiss my butt or nothing. He was after us. He chased. We laughed. We was laughing. I said, Larry, he's still behind. He chased us clear down behind us. Got up inside. And Larry had four leaving. The next thing we know, he's back up beside us. He chased us into the um, you, uh, McDonald parking lot. You know where that's at? Yeah. He came in there like that. And he come up, come around here like that. And Larry, and Larry said, we got to lose this guy. <laughs> Y'all was this way to take us? Never been up this road. There was some, I don't know what, we, we, we'll never know what happened there. Man, was that guy kicked off at us for something. Somebody had to screw with him in a black truck. It's the only thing we could ever come up with. But he said, I'll chop your head off. I'll tear your vehicle off. And I thought, I said, Larry, what did you do? He said, I didn't do nothing. I said, there's something bad wrong with this guy. He was old and his face was real red. His blood pressure was probably 300 over. <laughs> that was that was one of the funniest things that we got into. We didn't do nothing. 